Howdy, everyone. All righty. Well, it has come time to jump back in with this tip-up canopy frame assembly and see if we can't get it to play nice. So my plan is this. As I said, I've gone through the process once and um, wasn't entirely happy with the result, although it was very close. I wasn't getting a warm, fuzzy feeling about it, so I decided to start over. My plan is this. I will be referencing the written instructions from Vans, um, but I am going to tackle this a little bit different. Since I've gone through the process once, I kind of know now what Vans is pot potentially trying to get you to do in their written instructions. So I'm going to use their instructions as a guide, but I may skip around a little bit and kind of do my own thing. So we'll see how that works out. You're going to be with me real time along for the ride. So fingers crossed. All right. So let's get into this again. The frame um, comes as you see here. The first thing you need to do is prep it so you can fit the skin onto it. Here's one thing you need to consider, just like last time. There's a weld right here from this piece to this piece of 7, 7 16 diameter tubing. That weld sticks up higher than the tubing itself. When you have the skin on, the skin will ride on that weld and it won't allow the skin to lay nice against the tube. So I went ahead and filed those welds flat in each hinge location here and here. The other thing that I had done, the main frame comes down and it meets with this side piece here. That seam, there were areas along this seam that were not smooth. This piece was sticking up higher than the frame itself. So again, just like the welds, I just took a file and filed that transition smooth on both sides just with uh, some file and some sandpaper. Here's the other side, same thing. Just, just some high areas between the two pieces that I knocked down with the file. That way the skin will lay a little bit nicer. Now there is a splice plate that you can see here that I have clicked in place with these clamps. Without the, the splice plate in place, this whole frame is a wobbly mess and the only thing that's holding it together is this small piece of tubing. So be very careful when you're fooling with the frame so that you do not bend this tube. All right. The last thing that I've done to get this frame prepped is I cleaned off the edges of these hinges. I just deburred the edges. Now on the fuselage itself, there are these white pieces. I don't know if these are, I think these might be nylon, but I'm not sure. The white pieces are in place and they provide the, the, the space for the hinge to slide into. What I recommend doing is putting a good sized chamfer on these corners. Put, put a chamfer on this corner here, the big block, and then a chamfer on the small piece as well, just to help facilitate getting the hinge inside of here. What I do not recommend is taking material off of the hinge itself. If you've got an issue, and I don't know why you would, because Vans has done the math on all of this, and those blocks fit really well, at least mine do. I have no problems fitting the hinges into the blocks, as is. But I know some people will grind away the hinge itself on this forward edge. They'll chamfer the hinge itself, sometimes quite heavily, to get them to fit. I don't recommend doing that. This hinge is a big beefy part and it's beefy for a reason and I don't, re I don't recommend removing material from it. So I just cleaned up the edges, again just uh, filed them, deburred them, made them nice and smooth so that this will now slip into those blocks without any issue. Again, without the splice plate in place, the frame is very sloppy. You can see that there's movement between the hinge and the main frame. There's up and down movement and there's left and right movement. 
on both of these. So there's a, there's some some play there for adjustment. And then of course you got the pre-punched skin and the pre-punched frame. So what I've done so far is I had the skin on the frame and I clecoed the pre-punched holes of the skin through the pre-punched holes of the frame. While it was Clico to the skin, I went ahead and installed that splice plate just to keep this somewhat rigid. With it flopping around, you could potentially bend this piece of tubing and obviously you don't want to do that. So I put the skin on the frame, I clico it along the main frame, and then I put my splice plate on. At that point, I went ahead and fitted it just to make sure that would, it would in fact fit into the blocks that I was just talking about. So with the frame hinges fitted in place, just slid in, the skin on, and the splice plate clamped. Just to make sure that everything still goes together nicely. So now at this point, as per the instructions from Vans, I went ahead and I drew my center line down the length of this tubing. And again, the idea is you've got pre-punched holes in the forward part of the skin. You've got pre-punched holes on the aft part of the skin. Put the skin in place. Clico the forward holes to the frame and then sight through the rear holes and try to find your black mark along here. At that point, they want you to pre-drill this tube. I'm not going to do that quite yet because, as I said, there's a lot of play here. There's a lot of adjustment with the hinge in relation to the hinge and the frame. And you can use that potentially to your advantage to close up any kind of gap you have between the canopy skin and the skin on the forward part of the fuselage. I'm not there yet. I don't even know if that's going to be a concern, but I don't want to drill this quite yet because that's going to that's going to definitely set the skin to the frame. And if I can have a little bit of adjustment, I'd like to have it. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. So the frame is prepped and I know that the hinges will fit into the existing uh, blocks on the fuselage. So now I'm going to move on to the next step, which at this point, I'm not really sure what that is, but let me get cranking on this and I'll get back to you soon. All right. So with the front forward fuselage skin removed and the canopy just set in place, you can, you can kind of get an idea now. You can get a better view of how things relate to each other and what kind of adjustments you have to get the skin on correctly. As you can see, I've got some of the Clecos, most of the Clecos in on the forward edge. I have not done the side ones yet, but I, I'll get to that in a minute. And of course, the, the canopy frame has been inserted into the blocks, as you can see here. First of all, what you'll see is in this area here, there's a gap between the skin and the flange course this skin is going to lay flat on the flange. That is nothing more than making sure that the hinge is pushed down all the way like that. I just push that in down quite a bit. And of course you want to make sure that it is slid forward all the way. If you reach in and push, here's the hinge. And like I said, the hinge is independent from the main frame. So you can push on the hinge flange and make sure that it is pushed forward all the way. You can see that the flange, the hinge flanges are pre-drilled, but the frame is not. And you can see that there's a lot of play between the frame and the flange up and down and there's also some forward and back at this point. So with you, there is quite a bit of adjustment that you can make with the frame uh, with it being loose and nothing riveted together. 
So again, this is just laid on here temporarily. As I said, the hinges slide into the blocks really nice. That's fine. This, the skin is, rib, is uh, clicoed in place onto the frame. And I'm just getting it laid on here in, in position just so I can see how everything initially is starting to come together. Now, another thing to keep in mind is with this top skin off, you can see the hinge here. And you can see the hole where the pin needs to come through this assembly and through the hinge itself. And you can kind of sight between the two, between the hinge and the hole, and get an idea where the hinge is going to lay. I know a lot of people have edge distance issues at this point. With this off, you can kind of you can kind of sight between the hinge itself and the hole and kind of see where the hinge needs to be fore and aft. The problem with that is if you move the hinge, the hinge moves somewhat independently of the frame as I just showed you from underneath. So you could, in theory, position the hinge so that you can center the hole on the hinge. In my particular case, I would have to move the hinge back. If I move the hinge back to get the hole nicely centered on the hinge itself, Obviously, this front edge of the skin is also going to come back. However, in order to move the skin forward without moving the hinge, I could potentially put shims between the hinge flange and the main frame of the canopy. That will move the skin forward again. So if I move the hinge, in my case, I need to move the hinge back a little bit to get the hole centered. That's going to open up this gap here, but I could put shims between the frame and the hinge flanges to bring the skin back forward. However, if I do that, that shifts the skin forward, but this tube is connected to the hinges so that could potentially bring these pre-drilled holes forward, which will bring them off center to the tubing that's underneath where I had drawn the black line. So there is some adjustment, but you have to be very careful what you're doing because everything is related to everything else, right? As always. You move the hinge around to get the hole centered. Now the skin is moving, so you want to bring... you want to shim the skin to close up this gap through here but now your holes back here don't line up with the center of the tubing that's underneath that's just a few of the things i'm getting there i'm not there yet i just want to bring some of this to your attention with with the skin off and everything exposed you can kind of see a little bit better of what you're dealing with just to kind of give give yourself an idea of what some of your options might be let me go ahead and get the rest of this clicoed and we'll see how it lays in relation to the fuselage along the side and how the skin is going to lay across all of these flanges across here. All right. So let me do some more clicoing and I'll come back and we'll revisit where we are.